Fellas, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Power Stroke Central episode. Today we got the 250 back there. Bang, bang, bang. We're gonna be doing a little bit of video today. I got new tires on the truck as you guys may have seen in the earlier videos on this channel, but I'm actually gonna be going over those tires. I got Fuel Mavericks 35 inch tires. And so we're gonna go over those and just kind of show you guys what they look like, what how they perform and everything like that. They do rub, but without further ado, let's jump right into it here. 20 inch wheels with uh, 35 inch Nitto Ridge Glap tires. So I'm gonna show you guys the tires and the rims on this video, stay tuned. Jump right into it. As you guys can tell by the truck here, it's dirty once again, as always. Can't keep the truck clean. Gotta, where I work, guys, it's really muddy. The roads are not very good, so it's hard to keep the truck clean. I'm actually gonna be doing another cleaning on this video, doing a little power washing for you guys in the video. That'll wake get some extra content for you guys. Basically, these are my fuel tires here. Pretty easy, pretty simple tires, nothing too crazy. The reason I don't have the cap on that one is because actually for four wheel drive, put the cap on, you have to like unscrew every single one in order to get the cap off and turn the hub locks on. So that way you can get the four wheel drive right. Uh, so I just left the cap off. It, it probably would look a little better with the cap on, but with the cap off, I can see like the bolts and stuff and I, it looks just as good uh, without it off or without it on. And I'm able to put it in four wheel drive because I use four wheel drive a lot guys, especially if I'm down at the beach or if I'm in the mud or something like that. Definitely need a four wheel drive. Four wheel drive like all the time for my BNB channel too. When I'm down at the river and stuff in those rocky areas, I need to turn the four wheel drive on. But yeah, guys, these are actually Nitto Ridge Grab Tyler's tires. Nitto Ridge Grappler tires. So basically, these are actually uh, 20 inch wheels by 35 inch tires. Big tires. They're actually Nitto Ridge Grapplers. Yeah, so they're actually Nitto Ridge Grapplers. They're actually 12 and a half wide um, with it's by 35 inch tires. They look pretty good on the truck. They're huge tires. They do rub. That's uh, another reason why we got the, same, the tires I did. So you guys can see right here, they do rub a little bit. Nothing too crazy. Just rubs against the tire a little bit. Definitely need to fix that. Where my tires are a lot more. I'm going to actually make a video about me cutting them back. I just wanted to make this video because uh, these tires were expensive. And I definitely wanted to go over the whole specs on every tire. The wheels actually have a eight, negative 18 inch offset. They are 10 inch wide wheels um, with the 12 and a half wide tires. I think they look really good. Leave in the comments what you guys think of these tires down in the description or down in the comments down below there. Yeah, tires are looking really good. Honestly, they're Fuel Mavericks. Uh, the tires back here are actually Fuel fuel Mavericks. They're pretty dirty right now, so I'm actually going to clean them up and then we're going to film a little bit more B-roll with them clean. Let me know what you guys think of the Nitto Ridge Grapplers down below. I got them done by discount. Discount tire, that negative 18 inch offset right there it gives them like that little bump. So you guys can see there's like a little bitty, there's like a inch and a half, two inches bump outside of the truck. That being said, these guys are brand new. They maybe have 4,000 miles on them at max. I've put in some miles on them since I got them. I got them about two weeks ago and uh, they're still looking pretty good. I definitely need to get rid of that rub. So I'll have to tie it, tie that plastic back where it's really rubbing and then we'll uh, fix that from there. Uh, let me know in the comments guys as well if you guys have any rub on your truck. Um, I was gonna get Hostiles but they took too long to get in and I needed these tires for stock tires were pretty much trashed. The rims were rusting and everything like that so I didn't want to do too much longer for those tires. And I mean that's basically all the specs that I have for the tires. Negative 18 inch offset, 10 inch wide by 20 inch wheels. I probably should have gotten a little bit more offset maybe like a negative 24 so that way they would be out a little bit more and they wouldn't rub as bad. It is what it is. Got the 35 inch Nitto Ridge Grab tires. 12 and a half wides or mud tires uh, pretty aggressive mud tires i don't know how much i think everything total is like three grand which is not a bad deal it's about normal i couldn't find anything for l less than that especially nowadays even the hostiles were like 3500 these were 3000 so i just went with the fuels they're a little bit cheaper option let me get a close-up here of the tread on this tire before we give it a wash you guys can see right here pretty deep tread um it actually doesn't whistle as much as i thought these tires are actually nice because they don't like make that really loud noise that a lot of the uh mud tires nowadays make as you guys can see here pretty deep there pretty deep on the tread still got 4,000 miles on them nothing too crazy i'm hoping they last up to, to 100,000 miles um but the tread's really nice tread looks good uh, i need to get them rotated every 10 10 g's 10,000 miles compared to all terrains i'm gonna show you guys the all terrains that i had let me show you guys the old tires here tread on the old tires here so you guys can see they were quite worn. Need a new one's bad, as you guys can tell. That's why I spent a little extra money on these, um, getting these Ridge Grapplers. I don't know where they looked. Nice, they look really good on this truck, guys. Not gonna lie. Um, so let's get to washing.
All right, everybody, as you guys can tell, all finished up cleaning the little F250 Power Stroke 7 tree leader. That'll conclude this Power Stroke Central video. Thank you guys for sticking around this long. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below, hit that like button, and watch the next video. It'll be up there or down there. And uh, without further ado, we'll catch you guys on the next Power Stroke Central episode. Truck's looking good, new fuel tires, new tires, new exhaust tip, new mirrors, new bullet antenna. Let me know what you guys wanna see next down in the comments. And uh, that being said, it's it. Peace.